got a message from the press officer, Andy Dixon. Apparently Benitez believes Benji should be sacked. Don't know why I'm getting that email, honestly. Don't know why I'm being told that Rafa Benitez doesn't think I'm capable at the job. So Andy, I don't... No more. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. That's enough now, Mr. Dixon. Cheers. Thank you. It's called Andy Dixon. I just think Lee Dixon... Jobs for the boys is what I think's happened there. Don't think he should be doing that job really. Apparently, I'm under pressure. That's what the, that's what they keep saying. The board, though, security-wise, say I'm secure. Welcome back to the Arsenal series. It's Wenger out. It's Benji in, and um, everything's going great. So apart from the League Cup, right? Um, well, hmm. so since we last met, it was a one a spirited one-one draw. I think we can all agree uh, we did really well to come back. Class of course got sent off. Serie with a penalty. Then we followed that up with a very convincing four-two defeat to Bournemouth. Uh, Eight thousand people at the game for this one. It was it was disappointing to see so little people care about Arsenal Football Club and Bournemouth play football. Um, regardless of that, though, we we you know we went two 0 up. We were cruising and then conceded four, two of which in extra time. Yeah, lovely. Thank you, uh, Benekophobi, for, for putting the nail in that coffin. But luckily for us, things did turn around very quickly. We had some easier Premier League games, the first of which was against Brighton. It was a 3-0 win. Lacazette getting a double. Uh, the final one coming in the 84th minute to seal the deal, because the deal was there to be sealed. That's a new phrase. Uh, yeah, but Brighton really aren't very good. Uh, and it was a 2 win against Young Boys. A, a successful, comfortable win. Seddy with a great finish as well on 75. Perisic with the first goal in that game. A very dominant performance. Young Boys didn't have a shot on goal, which is a piss poor. But, I mean, we played a strong team out in that game. Uh, and then Leicester, 2 0 win. Very comfortable. Jack Wilshire, of all people, getting the goal. We actually played Jack Wilshire in the Perisic position, but as an advanced playmaker, we had Urza one side, Wilshire the other. And it worked terrifically. Wilshire had a really good game and got the final goal off said game. Uh, it was quite even, but we got the 2 0 win, so don't really care. Uh, today then, Newcastle and Atalanta. And uh, I'd quite like to, you know, Rafa Benitez doesn't think I'm capable. Well, I think Rafa Benitez should shut up. So, <laughs> there you are. Apples and oranges, Rafa. I hope, you, hope your press officer lets you know Benji tells Rafa to shut up. So, with that good bit of league for me, now find ourselves in 8th position. Newcastle in ninth position. Uh, both of us have played 11 games. So, if we win our match, we'll probably still be 8th, but at least we'll have won a match. Uh, right then, Newcastle the opposition. Let's look, look at the team for today's game. We've now got strong form. Who knew? Apart from that, obviously, obviously that defeat to to Bournemouth. So, checking goal, Bellerin, Mustafi, Koscielny and Karsanak. We've got Gay and Steady in the centre, Ozil on the right, Perisic on the left and Lacazette and Dembele up top through the middle. We're nearly back to full fitness. Olivier Giroud is the only one on the injury list and he's got how long left? I'm not, I'm not even sure. Three to two months, so he's still got a while out. Uh, but the rest of the squad is fit and raring to go. And now, with the idea of playing Jack Wilshire in this advanced playmaker on the opposite side, it gives us quite a nice balance. I don't think we'll start with it today, but if Perisic isn't really doing the job, but generally he does do, uh, then we might look to switch things up. We've only got five well, four real consistent goal scorers. Seri's got five, Perisic with six, then Bele and Lacazette with 21 between the two. And um, I mean, while that's not too bad, I wish we had a few more goals from elsewhere. Muzzet Elzel so far, no goals this season for uh, for Mr. Muzzet. And I don't even know how many uh, assists he's got. Has he got a lot of assists? Two assists, no goals. It's not a great season for him so far. But into the games we go against Rafa Benitez's Newcastle United. They've got Mitrovic up top. Matt Ritchie's there, Shelby. Uh, and they've got Herrera. I think that's the guy from, is it from Porto, Portugal? Yeah, Porto. There we are then. He's not bad. I've got him on loan. And uh, I think we, we face up pretty well. I mean, Diame might be the problem in the centre because we don't have someone naturally playing in that sort of hole position. But we should be okay. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. And they, they're all really excited by that. We're going to select the entire team and do, a, do a, you, I have faith in you. And they all look happy. There we go. Right then. we've had. I mean, oh, we shook hands there. Not sure how I feel about that considering the bad blood. But clearly I'm over it because I shook his hand. I hate the rain. I mean, at least if we lose, we've got an excuse. Hey, so not a fan of it though. Not a fan of the rain, personally. Not in, not in Football Manager. I think it looks. I mean, it, it makes it look like an old film, doesn't it? And I've just realised most people think 2D and 3D replays. That's what I got from yesterday's episode. Most people are saying keep it in keep it in three uh, keep it in 2D, but then make sure the replays are in, two, in 3D. That's what I've always done. We'll do that for now. Look, if there's a mass outrage and we'll change things around, of course there'll be now for someone going put it in 3D. Look, it, it, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we prefer. I'm playing in both at the moment, whether it's streaming or videos, so calm down, okay? Don't go Rafa Benitez on me, Jesus. I do feel like we're at this point of the season now where we're comfortable with the system and we're playing far better for it. I mean, 60% possession so far in this game. We've got a corner kick. Ozil's to swing it in and, um, well, it, 
it wasn't it wasn't good, was it? Uh, Siri on the edge, though. We know we can strike them from there and does. And it just goes wide. First chance of the game. I enjoyed it. Right, I think this is quite, quite nice for an overview. I feel like sometimes in 3D, the 3D is not really crisp but i think some of the colors are a little bit weird so i think right now 2d is probably the way to go but then again 3d replays is a must because we have to look at things in three dimensions sometimes that's what I've, I've always been taught so far you can see from the match stats we are relatively dominant i think that's fair to say as perisic finds lacazette's feet because it's Ozil, who I say you love, criticised him for his lack of assists. To be fair, he's playing in a wider area. He's not playing right behind the strikers, and he's not really in a position to cross the ball because he's left footed on this right hand side. It's not like now he's going to beat the man. He kind of has to play it inside and hope he works something elsewhere. As it comes out to the left, maybe if he wants to play it out wide, Perisic takes it on himself. Can he get a ball into the middle? He can. Lacazette's at the back post, and it sort of paused a little bit there. But regardless, Lacazette back of the net, one nil, and. Uh, do you like the fact I'm becoming a bit competent in this game? Or the fact my team are playing to the potential now? I, I like it regardless. Perisic, really good run. Gets towards the byline. Boards the back post. And Lacazette's header into the far corner is super... And he, uh, 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 he fell over. I think, he's, I think he injured himself by while jumping. Because he, he, just, he just dropped to the floor. Um, oh, God. Okay. Well... Uh, I hope he, I hope he's okay. We'll we'll keep an eye on that. Benteke waiting. At, Christian, warm up, mate. Yeah, yeah. Now, because yeah, because I don't know what happened. All right, it's a corner. That's, that's what happens. Perfect for Benteke, but he's not on the pitch right now. So his corner isn't that good. No one's attacking the front post, and Darlo claims. Yeah, Lacazette. I think he got injured while jumping, but he seems to be returning to fitness. That was a, that was that was a worrying moment for me. And there's half time. Then quite an easy first half. You've got to say they've they've not really threatened. I don't think we've seen a highlight from them. Apparently we lost possession in the central areas quite a lot, and we struggled for possession in the opposition's half, which is not ideal. Um, I, 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 we're not going to change anything though. I think we, we keep things exactly as they are. Perisic with the assist, Lacazette with the goal, and um, another great team talk by Ben. Select all the players, and then passionately say you weren't that bad, but you can still improve, and they like it. That's my new system that I've come up with. Hopefully, you're following up, you're learning things. Of course, after this game, we've got Atalanta in the Europa League. And uh, if we... W Sorry? Sorry, there's a penalty. Uh, what? Are we seeing the incident that led to... So he steps up. It's saved. Uh, hello? Uh, what? Okay. What? I'm not... I'm not... Like... I'm not imagining things, am I? Uh, we didn't see what the foul was. The ball was played in. There's Lacazette. And um, he's he's fouled there apparently, and the ref gave a penalty. I've never, as you were, we missed it as well. That's the worst part of it all. As the ball's put in, it's blocked. Matt Ritchie with a free kick. It's now Newcastle's turn to apply some pressure. Brilliant stuff from Ritchie. Did Czech save that? Oh, as you can see, that was that was a noise of. Ugh. So I'm not happy. You can tell that for nothing. About half an hour to go in the game. There is a temptation to bring on Captain Jack. Um, he played well in that last game and he got a goal so he's obviously in form we've got Perisic out there whose fitness is okay but it's not great and I'm, do you know what? I'm actually going to make the switch I, I enjoyed watching Walsh in that role he, he played I would say a pivotal part in the win in our last match against Leicester so he comes on he doesn't love the role initially but if he could learn it that'd be great he's left footed as well of course so playing on that left side should be natural to him might give him a slightly better cutting edge compared to Ozil who plays a little bit more inside um, but when you've got Bellerin on your flank it doesn't matter too much 12 minutes to go Will we get? A, will we see this out? I guess Kashani's picked up a knock there at the back, and it looks well. I guess it looks as if he's going to have to come off. But we've got a chance late in the game. Hopefully, this results in our favour. Otherwise, a counter attack is going to make me feel very sad. Lacazette though into Sally, and we'll stick with this highlight until its conclusion. Jack Wilshire finds Mr. Özil, who shot in oh, shot from distance. Could have been his first goal of the season. Doesn't quite find the back of the net. But those two players combining, which is nice to see, is the time ticks away. And well, Rafa Benitez thinks I should be sacked. I think Rafa Benitez should be sacked. If, you, if, if I'm that bad, Rafa, and you've lost to me, that's embarrassing, isn't it, Rafa? So I think it's time to go. Cheerio. Thank you, Rafa, for your services. But um, if we could just see this game out, boys, before... I've, just, I've literally just said that on the touchline, and he's he's looking angry. He's got... Stay there, Rafa, please. I know you have Stam. Don't, don't even think about it. De Bello goes forward. Final chance of the game. If he can cut it back, he can. Lacazette's there. And he's missed the easiest chance of the game, probably. And that is going to probably bring us to the end. And it is a 2 oh, sorry, a one nil win. I was nearly said 2 nil because I thought he'd scored. But a one nil win. And uh, you can see Rafa there looking devastated behind sort of the, the blackness of the, uh, the, the, what you would call it. He's not even moving. He's not even moved. He's stunned. That's right. You've been, you've been taught a lesson. 
Okay, let's get out of there alive and uh, go on to this game against Atalanta. We are joined, I think we're both through actually in the Europa League. Uh, Koscielny's out for a couple of days, so we'll probably miss this game. We've got, we're on a six match on, we're invincible, we are invincible! Right then folks, welcome back. Atalanta in the Europa League and we're at home for this one. So what I'm going to do is mix things up a little bit, play some players we won't have seen too much of. In fact, we're going to bring Monreal in as well because he'll definitely play well. Uh, I'll spin it in goal then. Carmona, who obviously we brought in in the summer, holding a Mertesacker at the back with Monreal, as I say, on that left side. Jacket and Ramsey. Now the midfield two. Uh, we're going to play Jack Wilshere as the advanced player, making that Ozil role on that side. Hopefully he'll do a similar job. We've got Reese Nelson on the left as an inside forward coming in for Perisic. And then Benteke and Dembele up top. Dembele's been in fine goal scoring form this season when he's played. So we're going to keep him up there. I think he should probably counteract the poorness of Christian Benteke because we've seen very little. I should say for Christian Benteke though that it's only a matter of time before he proves that he's worth the 32 million we bought him for. On the plus side, we know that if we if he doesn't play well and we have to sell him, Crystal Palace probably will still come back in for about twenty five million. So that's going to be fine. It's a risk free transfer if ever I've seen one. I said it, I said we've been on a good run lately. Uh, go out there and impress me. No one bothered. Select all players. There's no pressure tonight. There isn't actually because if we lose, we'll still be second in the group. Right then, the games begin and uh, let's see how we get on in fact let's bring up the league table for the group so i can just quickly show you uh what the, what the state of affairs is both on 11 points both starting on 10 tonight of course and uh yeah whoever wins this probably tops the group so it's worth going for we've got a rotated side out there but i think we've got enough to beat at that atalanta side that caused me problems in the first uh, time we played them to be fair but as i say we've got the quality so we should win the game just notice this team are playing hatabor if you watch the spell series good to see him again that's nice, nice to know he's still got a career after all of the abuse I gave him. And Ramsey brings it forward for us, though. Finds Nelson just inside the area. Reese Nelson. Oh, it's deflected in. It'll take it, though. And it puts us 1-0 up. Ten minutes gone. That's what we want to see. And Ramsey with the assist. Look, it deflects in. But a debut goal for Nelson as well. I don't, this might be his first start for us. I said, Monreal finds Aaron Ramsey, who uh, he just finds the he was sort of just laying on the outside, then cuts inside quite nicely. Good agility from him, and uh, I mean, fortunate with the finish, but we'll take it. Probably came off Hatterball if I know him well. Corner kick, Wilshire to put it in towards the back post. Dembele's header is headed off the line or cleared off the line, and are we going to get there first? We are. My Kimona end the highlight. It's not good. Oh, never mind. Oh. My 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 Kimona. How old is the my Shimo How old is the my Shimona? How old is that reference? Because I feel like some people will not understand what's going on. But at half time, 1 0 to the good. Atalanta have only had one shot in the game and it wasn't even on target. Rubbish. Look, we've been under threat of uh, of getting the sack recently. Okay, there's been a lot of talk over it. Well, the assistant has gone bold. Say something good. Just realised that Steve Bold is like a knockoff yap stamp. Isn't that right, Steve? You know, you're a bit, bit like yap, but not quite. Mm, yes. Mm. Yes. You enjoy your job at Arsenal, though, don't you? You know, you don't, no, not much pressure on you. you you're, normally, the manager gets all the grief, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Jacket intercepts, and it's into the feet of Christian Benteco. Strike on goal! Hits the bar. At least he's trying to score. I mean, brownie points for that. To be fair, though, and if, if we look at the system that has been deployed by uh, by Atalanta, they're playing very defensively. I mean, look at the state of this. What, what if... <laughs> makes me sick in my mouth. I say sick in my mouth. I wouldn't be sick anywhere else, would I? Like, where else would the sick be? Oh, I've got sick on my wrist. Oh, I'm sick, of, sick on my... I don't know what I'm doing. All right, 75 minutes gone. And um, so far, we've been pretty dominant in the game. If we if we somehow manage to conspire to lose this, it'll be quite the achievement from this position. As uh, Nelson's got it. He's got class. I like, know, oh, sorry, Monreal oh, on that side. His balling's got to be good. Benteke's in there, if needs be. And it goes behind for, for, for an offside. I mean... Good highlight, wasn't it? Good, oh, wasted your time and mine. So, Aaron Ramsey has picked up an injury. Dun, dun, dun. So, he's going to come in for him. And uh, we're going to give a Wobi a chance, if, if that substitution allows me. Uh, we're just going to come off. Decent half, well, decent, decent game for him. But we're going to bring on a winger in a Wobi on that right side. See if he can uh, cause a bit of drama. Uh, what, what, what it's actually done is, is end the game. It's a final corner for Atalanta. Final chance, and it's an Arsenal free kick. Foul given against the Wobi. I mean, he's won a free kick. I mean, could he, have, could he do any more in the time that was given to him? And there we are then. A 1-0 win, a comfortable 1-0 win. Probably the least, like, drama-filled episode we've had so far. Uh, I've just let my assistant do that. Just just on autopilot, not not even thinking. And actually, in terms of uh, clean sheets, I feel like we've been on a bit of a run here, are we not? Yeah, you can see there, five clean sheets in a row. Three in the Premier League, two in the Europa League. I will say, not much Premier opposition. So speaking of Premier opposition, I think the next time we shall meet, we'll, we'll bring you the Manchester United game. We've not had a big game for a while, and you know, the big games always go well. We've got City and Chelsea on the brink of... Oh, in three days, we've got City... Oh, I mean, this is a... 
joke, isn't it? Just when I thought I was going to have a calm episode, and then look ahead to the future and oh, fury. But no, I think we'll do Watford, Manchester United at the, it's all the middle of December. Uh, we've got some relatively easy games before then. Hopefully we can go on a little bit of a run. We also play Partizan, uh, but I'll join you for that one. If it's not going well, the next time you'll see me, there'll be stress in the face. So, with love with care from Minutes, until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon for another one. If you enjoyed it, do drop a like, the same for a thousand likes, and I'll see you tomorrow at 5pm for another episode of Venger Out.